Hey YouTube, hi again. You remember how I said in my previous video I wanted to figure out the beginnings? I wanted to figure out the beginnings of our existence? Well, I struggled with it because I couldn't understand the concept of time. What is time? You might think it's easy to describe time, but it's not as easy as you might think. Time is not a physical thing. We can't touch it, we can't smell it, we can't interact with it. Time is just simply around us, running independently of everything else. Let's try and understand time. The present is right now, right? Or has the present just become past? Is it fair to say that we live in the past? Do you think time is just an illusion of past, present, and future? There is no clear-cut answer to this. But the best way to understand time is to think of it as an ordered dimension. Time is a medium we move through which shows changes around our surroundings as it passes. We are prisoners of time. We follow it as the sun rises to when it sets. We know time is there. It's sort of a reference point for us to go off about our lives. Time serves as a tool for us in which events occur from past through the present to the future. And this can be best observed by one scientific law, the law of entropy. Entropy is a measure of randomness or disorder in our universe. We live in a universe where the disorder is constantly growing. To understand this, think about this. You have an egg sitting on your kitchen counter and you by mistake or by choice drop the egg on the kitchen floor. You have created disorder that can't be reversed. No matter how hard you try, the egg can't go back in its shell in its original state. This same law of entropy can help us understand time. Let's take the birth of our universe as an example. Event A occurs in which around 13.7 billion years ago, Big Bang happens. In its initial state, it was in a very high density and temperature state. And after being in that state for 10 to the minus 37 seconds, event B occurs, in which the previous state bursts into an expansion known as inflation. The universe was born. And event C then occurs, where the universe started expanding and after the expansion, 13.7 billion years later, it still is expanding. We can see around us the birth of us and our cosmos, our existence, and our place in this universe. This process, as far as we know, can't be reversed. Entropy goes up with time in one direction, and things in our universe will become more disorderly as time passes. It is clear, and we understand, that time waits for nobody. But wait. What if I told you there's a way where you can stop time? This all has to do with Einstein's theory of general relativity. Let's say you're on your epic space journey and you encounter a mini hypothetical black hole. And you decide to enter the black hole. As you get closer to the black hole, time will start slowing down for you. By the way, this is all due to the massive gravitational pull of the black hole. But anyways, if you were lucky to survive and enter the event horizon of the black hole, time will completely stop for you, period. Chances are you will be spaghettified before you observe any of that. Time also does wonders in helping us explain the history of our universe. When we look up, look at some celestial body, let's say for this example, the Andromeda galaxy. That galaxy is about 2.5 million light years away from our planet. When we put on our binoculars looking at the Andromeda galaxy from here, we won't be seeing Andromeda galaxies present. We will be seeing Andromeda galaxy as it was 2.5 million years ago. We are looking into the past of the Andromeda galaxy. In other words, we have a time machine in our hand. As you look up, you're seeing the past of our universe. You are seeing the history, the timeline of our universe. And getting back to the example of the Andromeda galaxy, if there's an intelligent being looking at Earth right now, they won't be seeing Earth 
as it is right now for us. They will be seeing Earth as it was 2.5 million years ago, where Homo habilis, a small intelligent ape, will be soon walking on the plains of southern Africa. How mind-blowing is that? To date, we have difficulty understanding the notion of time. Some may argue time is timeless and that it is an illusion. We know time is there. It helps us label events, like the beginnings and the endings. And it helps make sense of the material things around us. It enables us to see the disorderly nature of us, our lives, our planet, and our ever-expanding universe. It allows us to see the past of our cosmos. Now that we understand time a little bit, it's up to us what we do with it and how we utilize it. So go out there and do something that you think is worth it. And I'll see you around.